in London tonight. Don't extradite Gary. Will the new Deputy Prime Minister live up to the support he offered Gary McKinnon five months ago? Good evening to you. I'm Ben Scotchbrook. Don't extradite Gary McKinnon to the United States. Try him here. The words of Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg five months ago. Well, the computer hacker from Wood Green is hoping, now that Mr Clegg is Deputy Prime Minister, he'll ensure Gary isn't sent to America. His supporters claim the extradition treaty between the UK and the US is unfair, as Glenn Goodman reports. Janice Sharp is a lifelong Labour supporter who was overjoyed to see a new Tory Lib Dem government. Now, that's not as contradictory as it seems when you consider that the Tories and Lib Dems may be her only hope of saving her son Gary from up to 70 years in prison. I could not believe that Labour have eroded so many civil liberties, have actually basically sold out their own people with this treaty, uh, whereas the, no one needs any evidence to extradite a British citizen. The extradition treaty has been criticised as being one-sided because British citizens like Gary McKinnon can be sent to the US for trial but it doesn't necessarily work the other way round for American citizens. Gary McKinnon hacked into Pentagon computers in 2002. He says he was trying to find evidence for the existence of UFOs. He suffers from Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism, and his mental health has suffered in recent years. Both the Tories and the Lib Dems have previously condemned the extradition plans so Janice Sharp has thrown down the gauntlet to the government. She's written to Nick Clegg asking for the extradition to be halted immediately. Mr Clegg actually used to campaign on behalf of Gary McKinnon. I think it's just wrong. I think it is morally wrong to send a vulnerable young man to a trial and imprisonment in the United States when he could be tried here. Don't extradite Gary McKinnon to the United States. Try him here instead. Well, it's given him more hope. But in actual fact, I think uh, yesterday is actually worse than he's ever been because he's very scared and he thought that it would happen right away because as soon as they got in, they would immediately, you know, put an end to his misery, basically. But I'm sure it's going to happen, you know, over the weekend, you know, today, Monday. I'm sure they're going to keep their promises because otherwise it would show that it was just more people who didn't want to live up to their promises and I don't believe that. Glenn Goodman, London Tonight.